What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Juggle Nights Seven Two Replays Act Razor Two: The Crusade of Silence. And now that we finished up um, Lust, the king has been wake woken up, mm -hmm. and we have, we're on a very long tangent about the uh, this possibly being a sequel or a prequel or an alternate timeline, according to her theory. While we do that, we will move on to one of my favorites, Wrath, the Kingdom of Justania. Attacking their neighboring, their neighboring, uh, their neighboring country here too, Speaking Favorian. Speaking of war. <laughs> Speaking of war, by the way, <clears throat> Putin, you really fucked up. That's all I can say. All right, so to the death field we go. By the way, I feel like you know, just ain't, uh, just ain't Favorian is uh, Russia and Ukraine in a weird, <laughs> in a weird parallel. You know what I mean? Because this came, remember, this came out in the nineties. Yes, it did. So, but I do feel like, you know, there's a kind of a parallel that kind of goes with it, if you ask me. Oh, uh, yeah. And, um, it's weird. Yeah, I think they're kind of neighboring countries, Russia and Ukraine. Well, they're very much, you know, they've had relations for, for long, though. I mean, I don't know, don't necessarily know the complete history to it, though. Yeah. But this is one of my favorite stages, though, because I love, uh, the, the music to it, though. It's so serious and so solemn. Oh, yeah. It's so serious and so solemn, and, you know, it's like... Yeah, Yuzo, yeah, Yuzo Koshiro, you know, definitely has uh, just an ear for painting a, an ear with the eye to paint a picture, you know what I mean? And this right here is like, this is war. There's nothing good about war. No, absolutely not. Like, war, war affects everybody, whether you want to see it that way or not. Mm -hmm. And that this is war. This is the, you know, war is hell. War is hell. Yeah. And. Prayers, prayers to anybody that's experienced it or is currently going through it right now. Stand with Ukraine. That's all I can say. Mm -hmm. this, in this, in this uh, narrative, we stand with Favorian. Yes. Um. Oh God, I forgot about that. Oh man, I don't um, have, I don't have a lot of help. <laughs> we were talking about our theory, our our theories and the possibilities of it. We um last year um. Act, Act Razor Renaissance was uh -huh. released. Yes, the uh, remake of uh, the first Act Razor game, Act Razor uh, Renaissance. Yeah. Which I gotta say though was, wow. it was interesting. I'm not gonna lie, it was by no means perfect. No, I, no. I the biggest gripe I had uh, with Act Razor Renaissance though was the fact that all these characters were literally clay-like 3D renders of models. Everything else, graphic-wise, was gorgeous. Yeah. Honestly, I would have loved to see you know more of an anime style of the uh, of the master, you know, more kind of been putting put in tow, because I felt like you know it was a uh, one thing I did like about the you know the uh, those bad renders though, it felt like the old Saga Frontier from the old from old ninety Square, old nineties uh, SquareSoft. Oh yes. Yeah. That and the, the fact that the master had a voice too just. <laughs> I I appreciated the new characters that they introduced. Yes. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, not talking about the characters that already existed in the first game, but uh, the warriors that were chosen by the master. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, the ones you have to look for to defend. Spoiler alert, though, just to defend the cities of uh, Bloodpool, Fillmore, Northwall, Morana. <sighs> you yeah. mentioned my favorite stage. Yeah, Morana, uh, Eidos. Mm -hmm. Eidos! Oh my God! Casandor, yeah. Bloodpool, like I like the remakes of the, I like the remakes of the uh, themes. Mm -hmm. They're not bad though, but I do also like the fact that, uh, because for me though, I actually played with the uh, tr with the uh, classic SNES soundtrack, mm -hmm. which I enjoy, I thoroughly enjoyed. It was it was a nice little throwback. Yeah. But I will say though, you know, the completions part of me though didn't see a lot to do with it. I'm gonna take that as a mulligan. Ouch! No, you were already low on health. I was already dead. You were already dead. Oh my, well, I'm seeing the you. I love the the remake of the Blood Bowl theme. It sound the remake of the Blood Bowl and Casandora theme sounded more heroic mm -hmm. uh, than blue, gloomy. I wouldn't call it gloomy though. Like the original definitely had this, you know, seriousness to it though. Archaic, I guess you could say. <laughs> no, archaic. That, that that's more old. I'm talking about like archaic. You know, means it's more ancient. This yeah. one, like for this one, it felt like it was. Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> yeah, that was too close. Um, 
No, but with the, uh, the remake of the of Blood Pool's uh, theme, f yeah, it did feel it did feel heroic though. The uh, original felt you know more serious and solemn. Yes, very, very. Almost warlike. Yeah, very warlike. But like the Blood Pool across the North theme in the remake Renaissance is uh, sounds very heroic compared to. Yeah, pause. Yo, okay, one food break later, and we're back to it. Yes. All right. What were we talking about? We were talking about Actraiser Renaissance, the uh -huh. remake. Yes, the remake. Of the first game. Yes. Um, I loved. I, I was just saying that I loved the uh, themes for the the remake themes of the uh, of the original themes. I loved Blood Bowl and Casandora. Blood Pool was one of my favorite stages, along with North Wall. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely liked the way Death Theme looked. Oh yeah. <laughs> It was. Here, here's the thing I'll say about Death Theme, though. Death Theme in the uh, in Actors of Renaissance is more ephemeral than it is more, you know, dark and grizz, grizzly. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's more ephemeral. That's one thing I actually kind of like about it. But at the same time, that's also kind of a contradiction. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah, I get that. Um, I also liked the uh, the hidden the hidden land. Oh, uh, I, I think it's how you pronounce it, Acelion. Acelion or Acelion, whatever, however you want to call it. And then the final boss, the boss in that, in yeah, that the, uh, palace. What was it called, the Arbiter? The Arbiter. Yeah, and that's, a, that's an interesting final boss, though, because it looks like another angel. Yeah. Angel with a bunch of swords. And uh, you said you had a theory about, uh, theory about that, too? Yeah, so what I said on the last episode about there being multiple timelines. Uh-huh. I, I believe that theory is possible just because of what happened in Asalion. The angel, the arbit, the uh, the holy arbiter. There, there's not much known about. Him. Yeah, you don't know very much about him. He's just a, uh, it's just a statue, much like you know the uh, the main character. Yeah. That kind of comes to life. Yeah, that comes to life, and he, and he, this 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 holy arbiter. By the way, look at all this mana that I've acquired. Yeah. Oh my god. This holy this holy arbiter is now a boss. Yeah. It's like he it's like he became evil, but he still has his angelic powers and all that. So a lot of people like one of the uh, one of your allies says was he once a master with a servant perhaps? Because if you look if you look at it too though, um there is an angel kind of just near, like, I think it's like near above him, mm. or kind of just like flying beside him. Mm. Above him. And it's like, like nearby his headdress, or literally just above him? Yeah, just above, like, just, like, it's like, it's like, a, it's, it's like a, the, the servant is sitting on, on his head. It's like a huh. headdress. Now, I didn't see it at first, but when I paid attention, I was like, huh. Yeah. I mean, like I said, the servant probably wasn't there or something, but... But what what one of the, with one of the, what with what one of the allies said, I was thinking, you know, was this person a former servant? Was this person a former master with a former servant? My theory, adding on to the whole different timeline ordeal, uh -huh. that I'm thinking maybe there's a possibility that the arbiter from the Renaissance might be this master right here. It's definitely possible, you know, because this uh this one doesn't well this main character of God, if you will, or the master, if you will, um, is not uh, doesn't have a uh, he doesn't have an angel. Now he does have angels, as you see in the menu. Yes. You know that see that talk to him. You've got one that's the uh, the first one from the first game the, whose name is Crystallis. Yeah. And uh, the the one that records the same. Yeah. And plus, you know, you got the uh, the ladyboy twink, you know, that you have on the Renaissance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry though, but that he a little twink that fucking say. <laughs> yeah, he's adorable. He's, he's adorable, yeah. He's adorable, yeah. But like, I really started to think about it. Or, or it might be, or maybe Actors of Renaissance is probably like a. Would you say a retelling? A retelling of the story. It's definitely possible though, because I, because I do get that I do get that feeling from it. Yeah. 
I like we we can all just like assume that maybe it's a retelling of, of the actors or series or or, or just or a reboot. Um, also, I'm open to believe as fuck as weird as this sounds that the Arbiter is the master from the very very first game, Actors in One. Definitely and, possible. And actor and the master and actor Renaissance is like from the future or from. I, you know, to me, there's so many other theories that you can go with, though, but I think that's actually probably one of the best theories I've heard. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really haven't paid too much attention to too many game theories with that, though, but honestly, when it comes to that, I'd like to think that if it is, if uh, the Ar if the Holy Arbiter is uh, uh, one of the previous masters, I think, personally, oh, oh shit, um, not that, um, I personally think that, you know, if, if it's going to be any Arbiter, it's probably going to be the original master. Yeah, I, uh, I think so, too. I'm open to the belief that it could be this this master right here. Um, granted, he doesn't have a shield, but he has like tons of swords. And after you beat the game, you'll see that he turns back to stone and he weathers down. Yeah. I mean, also, but it also happens that it, it's also you know pretty uh, close to ha uh, thinking that it happens to the first guy, but it doesn't happen to the first one. No. It only happens uh, to this. You know, spoiler alert. You know, um, it happens uh, to this master and actors too. Yeah. Um, God, gosh damn these, these little... I also believe that the Arbiter probably lost faith in the people. Hmm. It's good. Uh, it's a good theory too. Yeah, because he's still very holy. Al Celion is a very heavenly-like place, I guess you could say. You didn't see anything. Anyway, we'll, we'll <laughs> anyway we'll, we'll jump cut to this. Okay, we're back. Yeah. All right. So Pete. Pay, pay not attention to that death of mine. Okay, let's see. <sighs> I've always had a very, and I'm sure ever since Killer Instinct, I've always had a fear of lava. I think everybody has a fear of lava. Uh. <laughs> I dare you. Hey, he goes, hey, he goes, he's got fear for you, though. Dive head first into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't die. You don't die instantly. I'll tell you that right now. No, you don't. Like lava is. Keep in mind, is melted rock. Oh yeah, that's all it is. And this side too, you know. Can you imagine uh, the demon fury? That's the name of the the, the name of the wrath. Uh, uh, demon fury. Fury, yeah. Yeah, fury. Guy, um, I find it interesting. Oh, here you go, full health. Oh! Here comes the fun part. Yeah, here's the fun part. Yeah. Okay. I love I love levels that skull. Oh, there he is. Honestly, if it, if, it, if it was any other name, though, I would just call him Ifrit from Final Fantasy, because yeah. that's exactly who we, what he is. Oh, yeah. Or just, in this case, so Akuma. Because that's yeah, what he Akuma. Because that's what he looks like. Or the or the, or the guy from the Orlando... Or the icon from the Orlando Rage. Oh, yeah. Man. X, the original XFL, man, going way back. Yeah. <laughs> I loved the Orlando Rage. That was my team. Yeah. I used to get, like... I remember I used to collect a lot of stickers for, uh... Yeah, and those little, uh... Not, those, not the gotcha ponds, you know, here in the U.S., though, but... It was, uh... Those little slides. Yeah. Those, those little, little slide machines. Yeah, I used to collect a lot of them, and I collected more than one Orlando Rage one. One I gave to you. Yeah. And the L.A. Extreme? Yeah, that... I think that, was the, that was another one of my favorites. Yeah, th uh, they, were the, they were the team that won the original XFL Championship. I think... Alrighty. If I remember correctly... Here we go. Yeah, that's the Orlando. That's that's the true Orlando Rage for sure. <laughs> like I said, he looks like Ifrit from Final Fantasy. Yeah, and Akuma as well. Yeah. Um, it's funny. It's funny. You know, we're talking about volcanoes and stuff. And you know, speaking of volcanoes, uh, uh, you know, Kazuya Mishima was thrown into one. Yeah, so was Hayachi. And so and yeah, and so was Hayachi apparently. And Jin, uh, Jin Kazama. Jin, I don't know. No, he no, he wasn't. And I'm dead. You know, listen here, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> listen here, you little shit. But yeah, Kazuya got thrown into one. Heihachi got thrown into one. I think Heihachi's officially dead now, but... That's what they say. Yeah, but... Okay, never never jolt down and expect to... Anyway. Okay. I feel, yeah. Yeah, this, yeah, this boss definitely has its... Uh, it's very unique in his own, though, because you have to... Knock off all you know part of this force field of his. Yeah. But it was funny though, like he, you don't have to. He doesn't damage you like if uh, 
If you touch him, though. Yeah, if Dante's Peak was supernatural, this would be it. Dante's Peak. That, speaking of, that, that's a good one. Are you, are you joking me? I jumped. I need it. I need it. Are you fucking joking me? I jumped. Oh, I, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I've got no mana, so I can really, I guess. I can... Speaking okay. of Dante Speak, that's a good movie. Beers Brosnan, and who else was in it? Um, um, I know, I, I know, I, I see the face of the actress. I can't remember her name for the life of me, but I, I never wanted it. That movie is the reason why I never want to go near a volcano. There we go. Maybe like, once, once you figure out, you know, his little uh, path, though, because you're always moving. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you do that little path, though, he's actually pretty simple to figure out. But in Death Team, though, he you have to fight him and the Greed Demon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he's, he's also, yeah, and just the fiery is. Well, it's not just that, though. He also, uh, uh, he also you know, brushes his wind at you, too. So. Oh, yeah. That doesn't mean he farts. I'll tell you that right now. Oh. But in the next a, episode. That'd, that'd be a deadly fart. That'd be deadly, too. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you on the next episode. Mm -hmm. Peace!